Over the years, Ethereum has been a big name in the crypto industry. It is the second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, always tagging behind Bitcoin. Ethereum has played its part in being a long-term investment to many investors. However, don't you feel that we're missing something about this lofty cryptocurrency? Now there are many Ethereum killers. There was a time when repeated outages of one of the most popular blockchains believed to have the potential to dethrone the Ethereum network, which ignited a conversation among community members on Reddit about the future of those carrying the burden of being called an Ethereum killer. A member opened a conversation on Ethereum killers and questioned their ability to succeed in the current crypto space. According to the community members, those dubbed as Ethereum killers are unlikely to succeed because they do not get the same adoption that Ethereum does. The community member further argued that even if a chain becomes faster than Ethereum, the market capitalization of Ether is very high. Therefore, the crypto user believes that no Ethereum killer will actually kill Ethereum. As expected, different members of the community with varying opinions chimed in and gave their thoughts on the issue, from pointing out the so-called Ethereum killers did not deliver on promises to suggesting dropping the term Ethereum killer altogether. Crypto community members discussed the future of Ethereum killers itself. One member argued that there is no such thing as an Ethereum killer. The Reddit user believes that there is only Ethereum and then there are other Layer 1 networks that fight for the remaining market share of the Layer 1 market. While many of the arguments were pro-Ethereum, some still believe that things could go south for the network. A community member said that the idea that Ethereum will never fail is ridiculous. The Reddit user argued that Ethereum's adoption doesn't mean that it's a done deal, as many argue that the space is still in its early stages. As a matter of fact, a post read, We are either early and it's way too premature to call absolute certainties, or it's done and we're no longer early. As others contributed serious arguments to the discussion, some joined in to add a touch of humor since it was turning out to be a heated online debate. One community member posted, Ethereum is the true Ethereum killer. While another said, what doesn't kill Ethereum makes Ethereum stronger. However, from all observations, Solana is the one Ethereum killer to watch out for. According to recent data from the Solana Foundation, the Solana ecosystem now boasts more than 2,500 monthly active developers. In a recent report that assessed key network metrics throughout 2023, Solana claimed that its network has maintained somewhere between 2,500 and 3,000 monthly active developers over the past year. Sustaining a consistent number of developers is an important indicator of a healthy ecosystem as it showcases the ecosystem's ability to attract and retain new talent. It said, while noting that the measurement only accounts for developers contributing in public repositories. On the other hand, Ethereum's total monthly active developer count stood at 5,769 on October 1st, 2023, down 22% from its peak count of 7,433 on June 16th of 2022, according to Electric Capital data. The tweet read, 3. Developer retention has risen over 2023 and is now over 50%, showing the commitment of new developers building on Solana. Developers building on Solana are more likely to still be in the ecosystem, making it easier to onboard larger amounts of developers in the future. Meanwhile, developer retention on Solana has increased by 50%, coinciding with an ongoing boom in activity on Solana's network, as well as an upward price action for Solana itself. Solana has seen an outsized 500% rally between October and December, sparked by a frenzy for soul-based meme coins. This led to it briefly surpassing Binance token to become the fourth largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization on December 22nd, posting yearly highs of $122 just days later on December 26. The network also witnessed a drastic uptick in activity, briefly flipping Ethereum and 24-hour decentralized exchange volumes in the same month. Solana, the fifth largest cryptocurrency, saw a meteoric price jump in 2023, rallying thousands of percent. Positive factors such as hype for the blockchain's fast transactions, low fees, and as noted previously, a batch of meme coins issued on the blockchain pushed the sold token's price to about $120, up $38 at the start of November of 2023. Also, value locked on Solana applications increased in lockstep, climbing to $1.3 billion in tokens from $400 million in November to levels last seen in July of 2022. Although prices have significantly declined, Sol currently trades around the $90 price range at the time of writing this. Nonetheless, regardless of the potential chances of flipping or, let's say, killing Ethereum, the Solana ecosystem probably has no intention to do so. Solana Labs co-founder Raj Gokal once said that the project has no desire to kill the cryptocurrency, and it wouldn't be able to if it did. Gokal made comments in response to an ex post from the co-founder of venture capital firm Placeholder, Chris Bernisky, who wrote that despite pretty words, L1 knives are fully out. In crypto, generally people want their biggest bags to win. 
Raj Gokal posted, this will influence almost all cryptocurrencies, so don't take what you see and hear as truth. In addition, Gokal emphasized that it doesn't have to be a fight, as he argued that the goal for all people working in the crypto space should be to onboard every human onto Web3, and noted that knives out implies that we are trying to kill Ethereum. Ethereum cannot be killed. It's impossible. And it's already a beautiful force of good in the world, empowering millions and creating billions in wealth. Bitcoin is quite obviously the same. Moving forward since its launch, Ethereum has gained significant traction and popularity. Its innovative approach to blockchain technology attracted developers and entrepreneurs worldwide. Ethereum's ability to support smart contracts and dApps opened up new possibilities for various industries, including finance, supply and chain management, and decentralized finance. Plus, its vast ecosystem, developer community, and established infrastructure give it a strong advantage over its competitors. Ethereum's market capitalization remains substantial, and it continues to be the go-to platform for launching new projects through initial coin offerings, or ICO for short, and token sales. One of the potential driving forces behind Ethereum's continued relevance is the explosion of decentralized finance and non-fungible tokens. DeFi applications built on Ethereum offer users a range of financial services, including lending, borrowing, yield farming, and decentralized exchanges. In the same vein, NFTs have gained mainstream attention, with artists, celebrities, and collectors embracing the technology for unique digital assets. Ethereum's compatibility and support for these emerging trends have strengthened its position as a leading blockchain platform. The Ethereum community even recognizes the need for continuous development and improvement. However, in a recent video, it was reported that Arthur Hayes, co-founder and former CEO of crypto exchange BitMEX, said that he had exited his Solana investment in favor of Ethereum. In the next post on December 22nd, Hayes confessed to pivoting from Solana to Ether based on divine inspiration. According to him, it was a message from the Lord while meditating. Hayes had previously been critical of Solana, even expressing scathing reviews of the project when he acquired the tokens in November of 2023. However, the former BitMEX chief did explain that Solana could exceed the $100 price mark based on his current rally. By dumping Solana for Ether, Hayes seems to be bucking the existing narrative. Solana has outperformed Ether amid the current renaissance in the crypto market. Solana's spot price is up over 667% last year compared to Ether, which has only managed 88.5%. Meanwhile, Bitcoin firebrand Max Kaiser thinks that Solana is primed to implode. The popular outspoken crypto pundit predicted that Sol will crash down to $20, a more than 80% drop from its current price point. He tweeted, Sol as coin alcoholics will, one, lose 100% purchasing power versus Bitcoin, two, get the rug pulled a few times, three, time the market with serial losing trades that add up to net losses. We will pray for you, children. Earlier this month, the pseudonymous trader known as Altcoin Sherpa also predicted that Sol could soon decline to a price between the Fibonacci retracement levels of $84.50 and $71.67. He posted, Sol, in theory, this should probably go up given all the liquidity that was collected. That said, I still think this one needs a bit more time to cool off. Wouldn't be surprised to see this come down to lower levels like the $70 to $80 range again. However, other traders predict the Solana will continue its hot streak. The pseudonymous analyst, known as Blunts, said earlier this week that Sol appeared to be forming a bullish reversal pattern on the one-hour chart. He predicted that Sol would consolidate for a bit before launching on a parabolic rally. Neither Ethereum nor Solana is dead, but we never know what might happen to both cryptocurrencies this year. But you always need to watch out though. But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you click on subscribe notification buttons, and we'll see you in the next video.